welcome friends to our NPTEL MOOC module on health economics. Uh, we have been dealing with uh, this week uh, with the discussion on health efficiency as we have already uh, clarified uh, the different uh, concepts of efficiency and uh, in this uh, lecture we will be discussing largely on data involvement analysis. We have already given you the background of DEA in the last lecture. Now we are going to give you further details and uh, they are models you know how um, mathematically they are um, constructed and, and explain uh, with clarity. Hence uh, here we will be discussing on uh, input and output CCR model which you already discussed here and uh, we will be explaining uh, you the slacks in CCR as well and their conditions on efficiency scores and slack values. So, let us uh, go back to our previous lecture uh, in a minute and uh, we discussed the basic DA, especially we emphasize on data driven approach, we discuss DA RCCS efficiency in two stages and uh, we, we especially in um, data driven approach, we, we have discussed non-econometric uh, and uh, or, 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 or non-parametric model and uh, the DE especially RCCS efficiency in two stages, one is through your uh, input or output orientation and second is assigned an um, you know, efficiency score that is basically called piecewise you know, linear envelope model and in the third input orientation model we uh, emphasize on how to keep output fixed and explore the proportional reduction in input uses which is deriving the best uh, output or, out or output to be fixed and optimizing the use of inputs that is called input orientation model. In the output orientation it is just the reverse keep the input to be constant and explore the proportional expansion in output and um, you know how these are discussed in detail we will clarify further. In the basic DA model um, we start with the orientation that is because maybe of input oriented or, or output oriented and the uh, input oriented we have the model through the CRS or, or the variable returns to scale model. Uh, they, in the CRS we have uh, CCR model, C CCR stands for uh, from the names of the authors who have started Chance, Cooper and Rhodes CCR and follow CRS that is constant return scale model with their assumption and VRS actually um, variable returns to scale where uh, it was initially uh, introduced by Banker, uh, Chance and uh, Cooper uh, that is why it is called uh, BCC and in the output model again uh, through the output orientation model we can have CCR and also BCC model. And uh, sometimes in CCR like you know CCR I said chance sometimes it rates as cans as well Cooper and, and, and uh, roads. So, you can also follow it accordingly. So, uh, through the CCR uh, we will uh, discuss their input uh, CCR inputs and uh, or, or BCC input and similarly uh, in, in, in other cases uh, CCR will uh, in the output orientation we will be emphasizing on the CCR output and BCC output. Uh, there are other models especially uh, emphasized as called additive models and weight restricted models also called multiplayer models and the uh, last mostly also uh, discussed in the paper uh, uh, on on slack based models we will be also explaining which are called slacks. Let us start with that CCR model is the first model um, introduced in 1978 based on Farrell 1957. Uh, later on CCR uh, of 1978 is noted and they assume you know uh, CRS function uh, constant return to scale uh, 
production function. DA forms a frontier using the efficient organization. So, and originally uh, assumed input orientation which we have already started. Later even they were extended to output orientation model as well. That is you know Cooper et al 2007 paper suggests that uh, to have uh, adequate number of degrees of freedom the n the size of um, the n should exceed the number of inputs and outputs by several times this is also considered as a rule of thumb n must be greater than that of inputs and outputs ok. <coughs> uh, there are different formulation and estimation based on three forms of CCR. Um, we start with uh, the ratio form or uh, the ratio form where uh, it measures efficiency in the ratio form and uh, this is also called fractional form. And um, in the input oriented uh, you know model where CCR um, input is written, um, CCR we already clarified where uh, in the ratio form the attempt is to maximize or the maximization of ratio of weighted multiple you know outputs to weighted multiple inputs. Basically it is weighted, basically it is output to input and its weights respective weights are taken, respective weight of output and inputs are taken. This is subject to the ratio of other DMUs, other DMUs basically the particular DMU which we have started explaining for their output and, and, and inputs. Um, so, the sum of other DMUs must be less than 1, then only we can discuss the possible optimization level through the input oriented model. So, this is how it is explained. So, uh, the attempt is to uh, the, the, the theta refers to the maximization of um, output to input ok. So, here y stands for the output and uh, x stands for the input um, output variables and there might be rth number of output variables. Um, uh, even for the respective DMUs of the uh, or uh, stands for the organizations or DMU. So, and uh, the respective weights are u and uh, u and v ok for the output and inputs respectively subject to other DMUs, DMUs uh, there is uh, there sum of other DMUs. Uh, with their output to orient uh, to, to that of the inputs or their um, you know efficiency uh, ratio that must must have been less than that of 1 because we have clarified very clearly that the total the optimum level reaches at 1 in terms of ratio. Therefore, J here stands for other DMUs ok. So, I am just uh, giving you the direction this is actually called other DMUs. All right, so the weights respective weight must be positive, okay, for all uh, R and Ith, uh, R uh, Rth level of output and Ith level of inputs. Hence, our objective function is highlighted here. This is uh, to maximize the efficiency uh, ratio uh, subject to the constraint of other uh, DMUs. Okay, we have just clarified. This is precisely called ratio form. U and V are resp respective weights uh, of the decision variables and the optimum value of U and V uh, is, the, is the solution for the um, uh, efficiency ratio ok. Next uh, the uh, in the ratio form uh, while you are going through the input oriented uh, model through the CCR um, where you now we, we have just mentioned once again that uh, this theta of the O or O stands for the organizations or the DMO unit of the organization. This is precisely called the efficiency score. Uh, this must be uh, at maximum of till 1, 0 till 1. If it reaches till 1 that means the efficiency score is considered to be the best ok. Hence a group of other DMOs uh, that must be accounting for that that is for J till the N ok that must be less than you know less than um, you know 1. Why RJ stands for Rth outputs produced by the DMOs ok uh, DMO J so those must be uh, must be till 1 till S ok. 
and x i j that is i i th inputs of d m u uh, j that must be till 1 to m. U and V should be positive and number of constant varies to the number of d m u s and the weight uh, weights are derived from the data and used to be considered to be endogenous and from the model itself we will identify. So, in the optimization problem this gives most favorable weights to DMOs that is the OETH um, unit that constants allow weights uh, the best possible weight to be uh, identified and uh, no other sets of weights leads to higher level of efficiency. This means that the input output ratio for uh, is DMU is maximized relative to that of other DMU. So, it says as, as, as a constant function we have clar clarified that this DMU is comparatively better than that of all other DMUs. Now, coming to the multiplier form suggested by you know Kernus and uh, Coopers and they suggested to you know transform uh, the ratio form. Uh, since ratio form is considered to be complex because it is considered you know um, number of infinite solution okay uh, and usually since it is fractional in nature and whereas in the multiplier form it is attempted to simplify the procedure and taken a linear function and also called primal you know linear programming. This also follows uh, the input oriented um, you know format. Hence, the equation is maximizing that theta, theta stands for the efficiency uh, score okay. and uh, that that is basically a linear combination of its uh, respective weight of the output okay, of the you know DM unit okay. and rth number of output of that uh, sub, uh, I mean of the DMUs and subject to subject to the gap between output to input okay and the you know some some the additional you know value of the with their respective weights of the output or the jth you know on, i mean uh, jth um, units of output to that of jth units of inputs that must be less than you know zero it should not be positive okay the gap should not be positive and another condition is that uh, the the respective weight of uh, the ith inputs um, that, that must be equal to 1. I mean uh, input and its respective weight value summation should be 1. So, here we have to note that uh, it is not just the constant that is of n nth unit now because we have taken another constant function. So, the number of constant increase to n plus 1. A ratio and multiplier form considered to be equivalent in nature. Okay, and uh, notations uh, we have taken as per the previous model. The most important usage of the you know um, efficiency score is through the development the envelopment form. The envelope we have already mentioned in the earlier lecture that it envelops you know the um, in, in the scores. Okay, we will clarify this. And we'll just comparing that multiplier form which you have just just discussed. Uh, the objective function was to maximize, wherein the envelopment function it is to minimize the uh, minimize the ob objective function, since it is the input oriented model. Okay, and again here the sub uh, constraints are to um, the uh, out of the mth input constraints. Uh, the 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 efficiency score times its uh, the mth you know inputs that is the maximum score possible uh, in case of inputs so lambda times its its xij should be less than that of the maximum score then uh, in case of output also we since um, we get the input score the minimum uh, minimization of the input score uh, score through the envelopment form um, so, the output uh, the, the, the uh, this must be less than that of the output of the uh, DM unit okay? and uh, uh, must be you know greater than that of others must be greater than that of sorry uh, must be since uh, you know we are saying this 
number the are uh, others are actually in terms of output that must be greater than in the output oriented we will find just the reverse ok. So, and here you need to note that the number of output constants has to be uh, till s and uh, then what is this uh, you know lambda of the jth unit this has to be positive or, or non negative constants. Now, I will clarify further uh, that you know these, these, these lambda is basically the raw, raw weights assigned to the peer DMUs. And again uh, since we have taken uh, the summation of uh, with their respective weight, uh, we are actually modeling through the linear program and uh, there are the dual formulations as well and this seeks efficiency by minimizing um, the efficiency of a focal that is the DME unit you know, OF unit subject to two sets of inequality. First inequality emphasizes that the weight sum of inputs of the DMUs should be less than which we have already said less than or equal to the inputs of the focal, uh, focal DMU being evaluated. The sum of the other uh, uh, DMU and their inputs must be less than that of less than that of this. Where in the second inequality um, we respect uh, we, we, we identify the constraint function with respect to the output the inequality um, asserts that the uh, weighted sum of the outputs of the non focal DMU should be greater than should be higher than that of uh, the, the respective focal DMU. Okay. As I already discussed there must be you know uh, some slugs, slugs basically will identify the, the, the best the, the, the optimum you know uh, combination. Uh, of uh, inputs or in the output model as well. Uh, we will find out which one in, fa in indeed the base slugs exist if at least one input could be reduced further without you know uh, using other input or, ep or if at least one output in increases given the level of input. Okay. With the same input you can increase more output or with the same you know um, output we can reduce the input that basically called slugs. Uh, you can easily see the you know um, we know that this is not the optimum one for sure so far as um, inputs are concerned ok. And uh, this is precisely A prime is considered to be um, the optimum one, but the best one or not we, we can clarify further. So, basically uh, with the lower inputs of this still we can able to attain the optimum level of output. Therefore, this is called input slack you know x2 uh, can be uh, minimized. Similarly, you can explain for the x1 level as well. And um, so, a prime c is called input slack. Similarly, in case of output slack uh, here the, the variables should be you know just the reverse. So, we know that uh, the output a prime to c um, a prime is also optimum and c is also optimum, the, but the best one is that uh, we can actually minimize our uh, or maximize output with the, with the given uh, level of maximize your output or the given level of what inputs ok. So, this is what is called a prime to c amount by which output y y 1 ok can be uh, can still be expanded ok. So, here this distance corresponding to this distance and to this distance this can be expanded with the same level of inputs ok. So, uh, in the environment form um, only you know technical efficiency scores are discussed we have already discussed earlier what is called allocative efficiency and technical efficiency. Uh, here in the environment form we are emphasizing on the technical efficiency uh, aspects. This does not um, you know account the slugs in the basic you know uh, form of environment analysis. This failures to you know fails to account for slugs 
or sometimes overestimation of uh, you know technical efficiency uh, as per the Farrell estimates for those DMU units operating with slugs. So, now you can understand what is the relevance of other you know advanced uh, models since you know slugs are not clearly accounted by the envelope form. Various ways of dealing technically with slugs such as Besant et al in 1988 paper, Togerson, you know, Forsun and uh, Kittleson 1996, Toffelis 2001 etc. They have also discussed. In 1993 paper by Ali and Seaford uh, proposed technical efficiency by means of a second stage DA, second stage DA linear programming problem. Uh, this is done by taking the um, you know uh, theta value from the first stage linear programming problem. Actually, in the second stage, we can identify whether still their change is uh, you know positive or zero or negative, and accordingly, you can identify the slacks. Running a, a second stage linear programming uh, problem and setting the input and output uh, you know slacks to zero can understand accordingly whether it is output based slugs or input based slugs. Model of slug have two phases. Phase 1 of 10 you know or theta star for uh, organizations uh, that is DMU unit U or organization of O from the envelopment model. This is how it looks like. We have started with uh, envelopment form hence our target is of uh, minimum minimize theta subject to the basic uh, you know um, the environment form we already clarified it is input constraint, output constraint and, and non-negative constraints. So, this is the first stage. Second stage as I already mentioned we will maximize the slack ok it is related to slack. First one is the basic you know environment form. Second one is this maximizing the slack. So, maximizing uh, slack with respect to slack positive ok and uh, slack uh, you know negative. Uh, so, um, ith unit and, and it is uh, you know for um, R A, rth unit we can also check uh, ith unit of inputs we already mentioned and slack might be in terms of inputs and slack might be in terms of output ok. So, if it is input based we have mentioned as minus and uh, output base it is positive ok more the towards more output uh, with the same inputs ok. So, then subject to it is again with the same modified version of the constraints ok where slacks are actually mentioned ok all right. And uh, you can just see the changes and rest are uh, almost this is related to the inputs constants to the output constant and accordingly we can identify its maximization suppose. So, now here it is given as uh, very clearly defined minus it is written as input slug and the plus it is output slugs. And uh, theta star is basically which we already uh, discussed as a d efficiency score resulting from the initial uh, run first theta will derive the initial calculation and then based on that we can restrict it to its its its, its um, you know constant function ok. And uh, we have to clearly uh, mention that this superscripted minus sign on input and uh, plus sign is on output hmm. uh, and that is related to slugs. And uh, superscripted minus sign on input slugs that indicates reduction ok. Slugs means you know basically therefore, you know, in the in input context uh, the or objective is to actually reduce ok, hence it is a negative one, where in case a positive sign objective is to actually increase the output, hence it is augmentation of outputs. So, uh, with the input model through the CCR which already uh, we started again with slack you know in the initial model we did not discuss with the slack. Now, uh, the minimization of efficiency score minus some of its slacks. Ok. So, basically this is the efficiency score which I already said minus what is this slacks right and if it is input or oriented rest are uh, almost uh, the same ok and uh, can have a change 
then uh, okay i'll just clarify we have already discussed what is called efficient dmu and what is called full efficient dmu again we can see c and d uh, if you just compare this um, in the uh, you know input oriented model our uh, input orientation is defining very clearly that c is actually called a fully optimized or a fully not optimized efficient you know um, score okay so dmu d on the iso quant is called efficient with uh, have a efficiency score 1 but not pareto efficient since we can able to also reduce the x1 content to reach at the one level of efficiency score okay uh, not pareto efficient because uh, we can able to reduce input x1 without using uh, you know x2 the efficiency of 1 or 100 percent for a dmu does not necessarily mean it is Pareto efficient, but converse is actually true. Fully efficient and weakly efficient DMUs, uh, we have clarified already the performance of DMUs can be assessed either as fully efficient or weakly efficient. Conditions on efficiency scores and slack values, okay. Mm. So, what are the conditions to reach at that fully efficient level and weakly efficient cases? So, um, uh, here, uh, with the condition is that uh, the fully efficient it has to be 1 or even in the another case that is also uh, with um, theta star also be 1 and with uh, input uh, slugs that has to be you know 0 and uh, even you know output slugs it has to be 0 in weekly 1. Uh, other are other same where in case of slugs at least 1 input okay should be non zero which the constant we have already discussed in our model and uh, in another one in the output case at least one you know or rth output should be non zero in input oriented ccr models levels of efficient targets for inputs and outputs so targets so some some target has to be you know discussed efficient targets for the inputs and outputs so uh, we as we already said the target is from one level to another level in case of inputs the target is to you know actually reduce you know uh, from the efficient till the, the i mean the slacks the negative content should have been reduced the, therefore minus is actually given where in case of output it has to be added you know more positive slacks should be added to the output okay therefore a target symbol is given and every time we have discussed with the rth level of uh, sorry um, rth level of output or, or ith level of input okay so uh, ccr input so far we have discussed in detail now in insert uh, ccr output based oriented uh, model we use phi okay uh, phi in that case phi is basically maximized in usually we said it in that um, you know da formulation or the envelopment formulation we discuss with uh, you know minimize function now we are actually discussing the maximize function since it is output oriented rest are precisely the same okay precisely the same you can easily follow and however we have also discussed this the efficiency emphasis is removed from input and placed into output that that is basically the second uh, constraint in that case so you can just uh, have a check and uh, efficient target calculation for output uh, oriented ccr model uh, again in case of target um, calculation you can just have a uh, check here we have also identified and uh, this is how is very clearly discussed so these are all um, um, so far as da and its extension are concerned we will be also uh, giving you further directions related with applications in our uh, you know, next lectures okay so these are the important readings for your preparations uh, and i think uh, you will have number of queries and we will be happy to address it in our query section thank you uh, so uh, uh, before thank you i think i should uh, clarify what is there in our next uh, lecture we will be discussing on bcc model because we uh, only discussed so far the first one uh, this, uh, this is the one uh, ccr isn't it so the next one uh, we'll, we are discussing bcc model and the other econometric measurement of efficiency 
Okay, so with this, I um, suggest you to follow our next lecture for further clarification. Thank you.